Okay, there's a bunch of different types of garnets. Uh, almondine, pyrope, uh, demantoid, but of all different garnets. Oh, let's, we're going to be going over uh, almondine garnets today. Uh, it is something I get on a fairly regular basis. I get them out of the Orange River area and a lot of the Namibian stuff. So if you're interested in almondine garnets and you want to own a couple, link down in the description, down in the, description uh, the Amazonite.com website. That's where I do all my minerals and, uh, well, the, the mixed minerals. Uh, Absolute Quartz Crystals does um, all the ver varieties of quartz, whereas Amazonite, uh, I just supply all the other mineral specimens, mainly from the Southern African area, but um, a lot of other worldwide stuff as well. But let's talk about Almadine, and I'm going to hand over now to Virtual Jimmy, and he's going to tell you all about Almadine Garnet. Take it away, Virtual Jimmy. Almadine Garnet is more than just a beautiful gemstone, it can also be used as an abrasive. Almondine garnet, usually called simply almondine for short, can be deep red, reddish brown, or brownish black. It gets its name from the ancient city of Alabanda in Asia Minor, which is the modern day country of Turkey. Almondine has a wide range of uses. Almondines are dense but quite brittle, and when they are faceted, their edges are liable to chip. This makes them less valuable as jewels than the most precious garnets, but they are very valuable in industry where they are used as abrasives in garnet paper and for tumbling other materials of similar hardness. Almondine is usually darker than pyrope garnet, and many specimens contain inclusions. These inclusions are often made of rutile or hornblende, and when almondines that contain them are cut in cabochons they may display an attractive four-pointed star. Because the darkest almondines are not very attractive in themselves, they are sometimes cut in cabochons, and their undersides hollowed out to let more light filter through the stone and enhance their color. Almondines that are not cut in cabochons are usually faceted or cut into beads for necklaces and earrings. The mixed cut is also widely used. Both the crown and the pavilion surfaces of the gemstone are cut at an angle of 40 degrees. Strictly, minerals and gemstones cannot be said to show cleavage unless all specimens split along their weakest planes when they are subjected to pressure. However, in certain circumstances, some almondine specimens may display a limited form of cleavage, which is known as a plane of parting. Just me, naturally stupid Jimmy, interrupting artificial intelligence Jimmy to remind you that if you want any almondine garnets, uh, have a look at amazonite.com. Links uh, in the description down below. If I've got any available, that's where they'll be. Uh, also, if you'd give us a like, if you're enjoying the content so far, just hit the thumbs up button. Most appreciated. And with that, back to artificially intelligent Jimmy. Characteristics of Almondine Garnet In common with all garnets, Almondine is a member of the silicate group of minerals and gemstones. It is a silicate of iron and aluminium. Almondine crystals belong to the cubic system, the same system as common salt or halite, but they usually appear with 12-sided dodecahedral outlines. Specimens of almondine garnet are usually opaque or transparent. Their sheen or luster varies between glassy or vitreous and greasy or resinous. Translucent almondines are rare and have a striking sheen or high luster. Almondine has a hardness of between 7 and 7.5 on the Mohs scale. Although this is the same as the other garnets, almondine is generally considered to be the hardest member of the group. One of the limitations of the Mohs scale is that very small differences in hardness are almost impossible to measure accurately. Although almondine shows no cleavage, under pressure some specimens show a plane of parting. Almondine breaks off unevenly when hit with a sharp instrument, and a pattern resembling the outside of a seashell may be left behind, and it is therefore said to have a conchoidal fracture. Origins of Almondine Almondine garnet is found throughout the world in medium-grade metamorphic rocks. Millions of years ago metamorphic rocks were originally sedimentary or igneous rocks, but were subsequently altered by heat and pressure, as well as sometimes by the addition or subtraction of extraneous material. These alterations affected both the structure and the texture of the rocks in question. Almondine occurs particularly in rock formations that contain significant quantities of metallic manganese, even though the manganese itself does not form part of the gem. Almondine may also occur, albeit less frequently, in some granites and pegmatite formations as well as in small restricted areas called contact zones, 
close to igneous intrusions and in sand-like alluvial deposits where it usually takes the form of rounded pebbles or grains. When it does not form in crystals, almandine garnet may be found in large lumps, called massive habit. The main deposits of almandine are found in Australia, Brazil, India, Madagascar, Sri Lanka, and Tanzania. The largest crystals have been found in North Creek, New York State in the USA. Star garnets, that is specimens showing asterism, are found in many locations, but the best come from Idaho in the USA. Inferior deposits have also been found in Austria, Greenland, Italy, Zambia, and the Scottish Highlands. Okay, so we're still busy with A. We've still got a lot more uh, minerals to go through, uh, even in the A group, uh, just off the top of my head. We've got axonite, ap uh, amphiboly, amethyst, uh, apatite, uh, albite, loads more, loads more to come. Uh, so just keep watching and uh, subscribe if you want to catch up on all the different minerals and crystals. And yeah, that's all for today, guys. Um, well, not all for today. I'm going to be trying and push through about five or six of these videos today. But yeah, that's all from me for now. And uh, if you'd subscribe, that would be most excellent. Cheers.